Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? Um, so today we're going to be talking about how to make uh, Photoshop photos and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot to it. Uh, we're going to get into this and there's going to be a lot of details to it. So I'm going to help you guys out as much as I can. Uh, feel free to join the Discord. We actually did the giveaway. Looks like Bobot won, but um, he hasn't been talking to me. So I don't know uh, if he's alive. And if he isn't alive, then... That means we're going to do it again, another giveaway so we can give out this Discord Nitro. So feel free to join it. I might start another event. Who knows? Um, feel free to subscribe, please. Thank you so much. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for 1,240. That's crazy. Um, it means a lot to me. But, uh, yeah. And uh, feel free to join the group. I, we're getting new members as much as we can. And when you join the live streams and everything like that, we might do games where I make games with you and everything like that. It's actually a lot of fun. So, uh Feel free to watch that. Um, now, let's get into this. So, there's a few things talking about this. We're going to be using Photoshop, um, and we're going to be using an online website. Uh, I'll probably help you out with both, because for your people out there who don't know how to get Photoshop, there I'm going to link out a bunch of new videos. So, actually, let's explain that real quick. In the description, there's going to be a few videos, okay? There's going to be like four to five videos. Uh, three of them will be about how to make Roblox thumbnails and everything like that. One of them will be about how to uh, rig a Roblox character. Um, and you can search these all up by yourself. I don't want to do a video on it because there's just so many things out there. Like, there's no point in doing it. Um, and then another one will be, uh, like, I think how to get Photoshop and stuff like that for free and stuff. Um, but I'm going to give you guys this online editor that actually works perfectly fine. It's kind of like Photoshop. So, yeah, let's get this started. I'm going to be making a thumbnail for my uh, video, like this video, just because why not. And I want to show you guys this thing right here. Um, you can, like, create new stuff, and it's actually really cool. So the classic icon size, which you would go Roblox icon size like that. And it would say 5 by 12. So if you want to make an icon, you do 5 by 12. Or if you want to make a game pass, it's 5 by 12. Now, if you want to make a thumbnail, it's going to be 18 by 20. So I'm going to be naming it uh, thumbnail, just like that. Whatever. It's not really a nice name. Um, we're going to hit create. And then you're going to have this pop up. And it's going to be like Photoshop. If you kind of look at this, they're kind of pretty much the exact same. They really are. So if you guys are trying to just watch me in Photoshop do this, it's pretty easy. So if I click new up here and go 1920 by 1080 transparent that works like that now we have that too there so um, another thing you can do is think about the background what do you guys want your background to be um, I'm gonna grab some of my stuff right here and show you kind of my examples so for like a thumbnail like Roblox that's pretty simple that I did was I took a picture inside the Roblox game put the name on it and just an outline layer that's really common with my like YouTube videos and stuff like that um, and with these games, like I showed right here, you can tell I'm doing the same thing where it's like the outline, taking a photo, um, got the really simple stuff. Everyone else likes to do other stuff with like character, like this kind of stuff. Um, I like to, I really like the text and make it bold, you know, there's got all of these things. Um, let's click this and let's go look at these. They have that and, uh, this type of stuff. It's, it's pretty sick. You can do so much you want to do. Just, you got to really dig in there and decide what is the best you can do, what do you want to do, and all this type of stuff. So, um, I don't really know what's the best right now that I want to do. We could grab a background, you know, like you could search up thumbnail background or something like that. Just stupid stuff. Um, and there's just so many things out there, guys. So, if I wanted to, I could use one of these. Like, that's like a Fortnite background. I don't want to use that. Um... But there's a lot of stuff you can do. Uh, I personally have my own and kind of stuff like that. So you can do whatever you like. Uh, let's say, kind of like this black one. You can search up black. I forgot to tell you guys. You can search up all these colors and whatever you'd like. Uh, but I don't really know how I feel about any of these. It's pretty cool. I like that. Um, let's go black. And there's going to be a bunch of black and whites. We're just doing one for mine. I normally don't do this. I just like use my photos. I like to take photos instead because it's pretty sick stuff. But, um, okay. Let's see. Let's just see what I have with my photos. So this is all of you guys, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm trying the best to talk about how you can make 
your own like things. Uh, let's just go random in here. I think I have some stuff in here. So we have that background. Um, this works. That wallpaper. I kind of like this wallpaper. Might as well. Yeah, let's do that. Stupid. But no, we don't want to open it. You got to hit place, by the way. And then we'll go like that. Um, I'm also linking a video, I forgot to say. I'll be able to link a video that's going to talk about how to get uh, custom text fonts because those are the best you're going to need them. Also, you're going to click this, go to filter, blur, and you're going to do either Gaussian blur or block spur. If you do Gaussian, it's going to make it where it's going to like, you're going to be able to see that. So I would recommend just doing block spur for this one. I'll show you what we'd use the other one for. Um, so like that. And this, why this is getting transparent is because that. So we're going to go in here. Just disable that for a second. Make some box of borders. We're gonna fill it with white, because that's the best. And I like to do this. This is what I normally do. And you kinda of kind of look at the transparent grids and mark your spot so they're all the same. And then you're gonna hit merge visible like that. So once you got that, you can just see that does that already. You just do filter, Gaussian blur, and this is where you can do that little text effect that I have with my other games and all my other thumbnails. Um, now, you know, you can just do a simple thing. Uh, also, you could, like, change this. Going to image, adjustments, and color. Wait, I gotta rasterize it. I think. Yeah, rasterize, image, adjustments, hue and saturation. This is a big thing, too, if you like. Uh, I wanna make it, I wanna make it darker, so I do. Like that. Perfect. Now we're gonna go back to the first layer. And we're gonna click a text with the text button over here. And we're just gonna say... How to make, I think I was going to call it Roblox thumbnail, so we're just going to make that pretty big. Oh god, my eyes, bro. I don't know what just happened there. Okay, sorry. We're going to go back to white, because I like the white, you know. Um, now, how to make, oh god, Roblox, nah, I don't like to do that. So how to make, and then you do another layer, Roblox thumbnails and cons in 2020. And you guys are probably wondering how I'm moving and all this stuff. If you hold control, you can just move this around. This is something you can use in Photoshop. It's pretty easy. So let's say I want to do that. Um, you can put it right in the middle if you want. It's another thing. You got to... Think about what just looks simple. What's really easy to do and make it look things look nice. Um, a lot of people, there's so many tutorials out there. I'm going to link them in the description. But I'm going to like just show you guys the easiest way of going about these and how I do it. Now, um, you're going to go into FX and click Drop Shadow, etc. Uh, Drop Shadow makes your things just look super nice. Um, and also with Bevel, you can do uh, something to make it look like that. I kind of like that, but we'll leave it plain. Stroke is really nice too. Uh, inner shadow is another thing that's pretty amazing. I might actually do that that instead. That's good. Gradient overlay is a big thing you can do. Um, outer glow, pattern overlay, uh, Satan. Satan's pretty cool. Um, and inner outer glow is normally a big one too, I do. But I'm going to leave it like that because that's kind of cool. And then we'll go down here. And if you want to just do the same thing, you can just group them together and do that. Uh, we're going to go with this Satan, I think. No, I didn't do that. Stroke. Bevel? Did I do a bevel? We'll keep it like that. I'm keeping a more of a tone of just like one set. You guys probably can't see because of the webcam, but um, I want to make things really tiny and nice. Um, but there's also packs like these, which I want to show you real quick because this is something with Photoshop. You guys really just have to get used to it. Um, there's these thumbnail packs that you can just like go to, and they have tons of resources that you can use. So if you are trying to get like things like these and there's just tons of things you can use in them search it up I'll probably leave some in the description and you can find tons of like colors and um, things to use so let's say like this you can tell there's all these kind of like cool fonts cool things I actually want this so you duplicate layer and you put it onto untitled like that so now it's on this and we can do something like that I think it looks kind of weird. Let's see if I can do adjustments. Should I it? Let's see. 
I think I can do this. No, you gotta go back in black and white. There you go. But I don't know if you wanna do that. Probably not. So let's say I wanna move how to make and go like that. Put it in like that. There's so much you can do, guys. I've never, I'm probably just gonna leave this in the corner because that's something to do. Um, and you can really just mess around. So let's say you wanna do stuff and I'll add an arrow too. So like, I'll just paste these into, let's go Roblox, no, 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 Photoshop, Ninjago. I'm just gonna grab that, I'm gonna like, go like that, and we'll go like this. And we'll grab FX, Outer Glow. You can do so many things, guys. Uh, it's it's really your preference. What do you think you look? What look looks good in your opinion? And then I think he had a thumb. I think he had a little. What's it called? A squirrel line. Arrows. There we go. See these arrows? These are perfect. This is what we need. So we'll grab this guy actually. Duplicate. Go to untitled. Grab this, go like that. And actually, we will put this guy, or which one, on what layer was it? Oh, you gotta hit click. No, oh, Ninjago icon. I don't know, you can do whatever you want. I'm not gonna, I'm actually gonna get rid of this because we don't really need that. Um, and you can like just do like anything that you think just looks good. Like what is something that you believe is the best right now? So I'm gonna like put these down here as examples. Oh, you can do all these cool things. Totally forgot about that. Shit, <laughs> whatever. So that's kind of what I wanna show you. Um, this video is gonna be a little bit long cause we're gonna do another one on online. So if you are trying to do this, uh, open image, you're gonna go to layer, add image as layer. And then, like I said, when you have your images, just do that. Uh, I kinda wanna talk about, yeah, we'll do we'll do a character real quick. Um, so let's grab this guy, right there, and then adjustment, no filter. Then you're gonna find blur, just blur it a bit, you know, cause we don't want it to look too weird new layer like that empty uh whatever works i think this is the same thing i need to find i think that yeah okay so depending on how you do this okay so that's that and then Gaussian Blur. Okay, it works, yeah. This, this one's a little weird though, <laughs> so I'm not too good with this. Um, you can do stuff like the Roblox. So if you guys go watch my other tutorials and learn, oh, also, when it comes to transparent things and you wanna like, this is perfect, I totally forgot to do this. So Roblox character transparent. If you are trying to get your own character, go watch the other videos in the description. If you're not, there's tons of these. Um, Say like this, not's not too good, not yet. You gotta look for the transparent background. You didn't think these are transparent, but they're not. This one might be. I think they're not transparent. The last time I tried this, it didn't work. Let me find one. Nope, the thing isn't. There's also something called white background remover. Um, if you're trying to get that, that's a way of finding stuff too. I don't think these are transparent. I don't know why sometimes these things don't work, but you normally just search up white background remover and it'll do it for you. Um, or you can do it in Photoshop. That's other reason thing you can do. I don't think this is because it's not PNG. Is it? Oh, it is. They're just ASDF because why not? And then layer, you add images, layer, random. Yes, yeah, it's not. That's weird. Um, I wonder, I actually forgot 
how to get remove the white. So that's a good question. Um, let's just let's just grab mine real quick and show you if you do get it. So I have my transparent in here, and you could do things like grab this guy. And once you add these things, you can really. I just you just have to get get this stuff, figure it out, and do it. Um, let's say you put it under the third layer like that, so it looks makes more sense. Um, you can add images layer, and let's go random again. Cartoon Santa, where's the Santa? This one. <laughs> and there's actually tons of stuff you can do that makes it this stuff look cool. Um, Actually, and also I forgot to tell you, holding shift when you move things can do that. Control is a big thing. Um, yeah, so we could do something like this. And then you'd grab the eraser. You kind of erase it on his face. Sort of. <laughs> Not really. You shouldn't, but... Um, yeah, that's not going to look good. Yeah, there's other things you can do. There's lots of things you can do. Um, but yeah, let's go to the text in here. Let's see what they do for this. Add new text layer. So, uh, Roblox game. And then you hit a control A to that. So it gets all the text together. You can see that it grabs that. And then your font. I think they have custom fonts on this. So you're all good. This one's pretty dope. Um, you can say like vibe game and stuff. Uh, something like that. It's pretty cool. And then size, size that video up like that. And then down here, no, I think there's FX somewhere. No layer. I know where it's somewhere around here. styles oh background there we go well okay there you go so there's all these things you can do uh punch out oh that's kind of cool that's pretty cool i like that i've never seen that before so yeah there's so much you can do guys um and when it comes to saving just go here save uh jpeg png they're both the same make sure they're the same size 1920 1920 by 1080 that's the required size for that um so we're going to quickly exit this, but if you guys want anything that's transparent, so Robux transparent, you got to think about your curations. Um, this is transparent, basically, that kind of stuff. Now let's go on Roblox real quick and quickly look at uh, some of the games and just go off of how you could easily make it. Um, well, how they do it. So most people nowadays can do art too. So if, you want, if you're an art person, you can do icons like that. Uh, it's recommended to do, yeah, like this. This is really cool. Uh, R15 carry, Arctur, R6. I might do a video if you really need me to and explain that. I'm going to list all the videos in the description. Um, and it's all this kind of stuff. You can do t tons of options, guys. Tons of options. And the fonts and making them look kind of cool, you really got to just get good at Photoshop to do that. Like, that's like a whole, like, talent <laughs> and get good at it. If, like, you're wanting to do this, there's some tutorials out there, but it's, it's really hard. Um, I might make a tutorial on, like, uh, tycoon thing on how to make a graphics but probably not so yeah that's pretty much all i got for you today so let's say this is pretty much good um oopsie yeah you're gonna go save as and then png like that and you just name it uh how to make thumbnails etc whatever you need to do and you'll go to your thing and upload it um yeah, Roblox tutorials, finish videos. <laughs> I got tons of videos coming, guys. Uh, it's gonna take me a while, but um, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. I know this wasn't too crazy. Uh, I wanted to link you guys all the videos in the description so you know what you're doing and what you can do. It's really easy, actually. And there's so many videos out there, so yeah. Okay, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share, and. Uh, Anything, let me know. I'm going to be streaming tonight, by the way. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later.